chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video i need each and every vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe shout out to the galactic family the gcvs and drew nation let's get right into it they're going to die for what they did to you they knew it was wrong and continue to do it anyway let's get right into it when it comes to you god don't play when it comes to good people and positive people there's no doing them any kind of wrong because they have god's hand on their life they care about other people they do right by other people they may not be perfect but people have a lot to say about them and their attitudes God's people don't have no patience for bull stuff. So when you play with them, you get what you deserve. And this time around, they played with the wrong one. They're going to receive exactly their just desserts. They're going to receive exactly what they're just due because they played around with you. You were nothing but good to these people and they took your kindness for a weakness. They tried to break you down to the finest molecule. They even tried to destroy you without caring what would happen to you, without actually considering how that would make you feel or how that would make you react. They didn't care if you decided to end it all. They didn't care how you handled the situation, but because they had no empathy for you, they had lack of consideration for you. And because this person is a total demon, they have theirs coming to them. I'm not wishing bad on a soul. But it's basically the same thing as you doing something wrong and expecting not to get uh, any consequences served to you. It's like you doing something that'll deem you uh, that's that's uh, that would is worthy of going to jail without you expecting to get locked up. When they mess with you, when they do wrong by you, they have to face the consequences. So they better leave you alone. But this time, it's too late. They had all the opportunity. They had all the chances. God came to them and showed them that they should have left you alone and stopped bothering you. They did not care how it would affect you. <clears throat> They did not care how uh, they did not care what you were going through. They didn't care how it bothered you or affected you mentally or spiritually. They did some things to you that bothered you to the point of no return. They kept playing with your mind and they kept playing with your reality and they kept playing with your life. All you wanted was peace. You did not do anything to them. You did not know these people. Even if you did do something, it did not deem them to keep bothering you to the point where you would want to take your own life. Whatever they have come into it, they deserve it because they didn't care about you. And now life is not going to care about them. Now God is not going to care about them. They should have been a good person to you. They should have been a polite person to you, but they kept doing evil things to you regardless of how you felt, regardless of how it would cause you to react. They wanted a reaction, and that reaction was one that would make you want to feel like you didn't want to be here anymore. The reaction that they tried to cause you to create for yourself was one that you almost would feel so terrible about life that you wouldn't want to live anymore. And because they could find it in themselves, they could be that evil to try to make someone consider not wanting to live anymore, they're not going to live anymore. They're going to go through something and they're going to receive exactly what they put out into the universe. Whatever they're putting out into the universe is exactly what they're going to go through. They should have learned their lesson. They should have took advantage of those second chances all right, they had night, they had visions, they had nightmares. They had plenty of opportunities to turn this thing around. They had plenty of chances to stop while they were ahead. 
they kept being an evil person on purpose. They kept doing those evil deeds on purpose. They kept being negative. They kept being evil. And they kept doing things that would harm a person, whether it be mentally, so that person would harm themselves physically. They didn't care. They, didn't, they did not care what you did to yourself. And because they could put that energy out for another person, towards another person, the universe is going to bring that energy right back to them. They're going to receive everything that they put out. They're going to reap everything that they have sown. They have theirs coming to them in a great big package. Signed, sealed, delivered. They're going to receive exactly what they tried to give out and dish out to others. Whatever they dished out, this is not going to be something that they can take. They're not going to be able to withstand this. There's no coming back from this. They didn't want you to come back from what they put out. They didn't want you to be able to take what they put out. Whatever they wanted you to receive, whatever they wanted you to go through, they wanted it to be the end for you. They wanted to put you through so much torment and so much stress that you would not come back from that. They kept attacking you and attacking you and attacking you to no avail. They didn't want you to find peace. They didn't want you to find clarity. They wanted to keep going until you lost your sanity. They wanted to keep going until you lost your mind. And they thought this was fun. This was fun to them. They enjoyed this. They enjoy being evil. They enjoy being corrupt. They enjoy watching others suffer. They enjoyed watching you go through hell. And they did not care what happened to you as a result of that. They kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going day after day after day. They never let up on you. They would talk about it with their friends, laugh about it with their friends, whoever those people may be. They talked about this with them. They didn't keep this to themselves. They thought they were big and bad, but forgot there was somebody in charge of them that they could not see that's even bigger and badder. And they made a huge mistake. They didn't realize exactly who they were messing with. They failed to realize that what they were doing could possibly harm someone to the point where they could never come back from it, where they might not come back from it. They didn't care. They said, I'm going to keep doing this anyway. I like this. This is fun to me. Well, that fun has just now put themselves in danger. They put themselves in danger. They're in danger. There's no coming back from this because they didn't want you to come back from this. They were hoping and praying that one day they would wake up and they wouldn't see you anymore. Wouldn't have to see you anymore. And whenever they did see you, they carried out the same behavior. They kept it up and they enjoyed every bit of it. Every time you were suffering, they were smiling. Every time they were hurting you, every time they were causing you to stress, every time they were causing you to be vexed, they were enjoying this. They were having a good old time. They were old. They were having a good old time. failing to realize that their evil actions and their evil deeds would soon, one day, catch up to them. They didn't care because they didn't know that time was closer than they thought. They didn't know that time would soon be at hand. They wanted to keep doing what brought them enjoyment. Very evil person. Dirty spirited, evil spirited, corrupt spirited. They did not care. They were going to keep going and not let up. 
regardless of how it bothered you, regardless of how tormented you were, regardless of how much pain you went through, regardless of all the mental anguish, but God heard your prayers. He was watching them the whole entire time. They didn't care if you hurt yourself. They didn't care if you didn't want to live anymore. They didn't care what happened to you as a result of what they did. They had fun doing it. They had fun carrying out those evil deeds. They had fun being an evil person. They had fun being a corrupt person, being a devil, being a demon. They enjoyed the rush that they got and the adrenaline that they got from watching you and seeing you and watching how it affected you, watching what you were going through, watching how upset you got. They didn't have a care in the world. They were carefree. This made them feel good. But now as a result of what they did, they're going to suffer because of it. When you don't care about other people, when you show God, when you show the universe that you don't have a care for life, you have a disregard to life just because it's not yours, just because of, of what you see in another person. And guess what? The thing that they saw in you was the God in you and they hated you because of that. They hated you because you were a good person, because you have a good spirit, because you got a righteous heart. And that's why they attacked you. But they did not know that God's hand was on your life. That's what they saw. They may not have known that, but that's what they saw. That's why you are the way you are. And now that, that hand on your life, God's hand on your life is about to crush them. Just like a soda can, just like a piece of metal in a junkyard, it's going to crush them. And they're not going to be able to come back from it. They took you, they, they tried to take you to the point of no return. Now they're going to willingly be brought to the point of no return. They have theirs coming to them on a silver platter. It's going to be served, your justice served up cold. And they thought they could get away with it. They thought they were going to get away scot-free. You get away scot-free because you didn't do anything. And especially you didn't do anything to them. They were cold-blooded with their actions. Cold-blooded with their deeds towards you. With their thoughts towards you. Evil, wicked, sick, twisted-minded thoughts. And they're going to have to pay for every last one of them. They wanted to keep this going. And they wanted to keep this on. Oh, they wanted to keep this on and popping, baby. They didn't care how they hurt you. They didn't care what they brought you through. They didn't care what they took you through. They didn't think. They should have thought this through. Because now it's too late. It's too late. Hey, 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 hey. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, it's too late to apologize. They had their chance. They had their opportunity. They're done for. They're not going to be able to make up for this. They're not going to be able to cry their way out of this. They're not going to be able to, to uh, try to forgive their way out of this. There's no forgiving people like them because they don't care about other people. They only care about what's going to happen to them. They only care about what they're going to go through as a result of their actions, but they didn't care what you were going through as a result of their actions. They didn't care what you would do to yourself. They didn't care what happened to you, but now because something's going to happen to them, oh, they're going to care now. They had the chance to stop. They had the opportunity to let it go. They had the opportunity to leave you alone and move on with their life. But they kept up with the harassment. 
They kept up with the following. They kept up with the stalking. They kept up with the mind games. Trying to turn you, trying to turn you into a zombie. Trying to turn your mind to mush. Trying to bother you just hit and hit and hit and poke and poke and poke and stab and stab and stab. Not caring what you would end up doing to yourself. So now the universe is not going to care what happens to them. The universe is not going to care what they do to themselves. What you reap is what you sow. What you put out is what you get back. The energy that they had for you, the anger that they had for you, the hate that they had for you, the mental, to the mental torment that they wanted you to go through, the evil that they had stored up in their mind and in their heart for you, it's going to come back to them. It's going to eat them alive. All the evil that they have for you, all the evil thoughts that they have for you, all that hate they have for you, that they actually carried out on you and took out on you, it's going to eat them up alive. They're going to have to go through that. They're going to be tormented. It's not going to be easy for them, but it wasn't easy for you. And they're not going to make it out. You made it out. You are strong enough. They're not going to be strong enough. They got theirs coming to them. And they're not going to be able to withstand it like you were. They're not going to make it out of this like you did. You had God on your side. They don't. God's turned their back on them. He's removed himself from them because they removed themselves from him. They chose their side a long time ago. They decided, you know, they filled out their application and chose who they were going to work for a long time ago, but they didn't read the fine print. They did not read the fine print. They filled out the application. They went to work. They punched the clock. They said, I like this job. Oh, do you? But well, now they get to see what this job will get them. Now they get to see what the actions that they carried out on innocent people are going to get them. Now they get to see what not caring about the life of another is going to get them. Now they get to see what lack of empathy is going to get them. Not caring about what somebody does to themselves. How their family members are going to miss them. How their friends are going to miss them. Just how much, just how much you're cared about by those who love you, but they didn't have no love for you. You may have been a stranger. You may have been someone that they didn't know. You may be someone that they did know, but for whatever reason, they decided to carry these acts out on you because they just didn't like you. Well, guess what? That's not good enough answer. There's no answer good enough for how they treated you. There's, there's, there's no explanation good enough or for, for how they treated you. They done messed up. And there's no coming back from this. They have destroyed themselves. And now they are going to be destroyed because they wanted to destroy somebody else. They put out some foul, stank, nasty, evil behavior with their foul, stank, nasty heart itself. When you harbor hate in your heart for others and you carry out that hate and you don't repent, you don't ask God to help you, you don't ask God to lead you away from that, and you side with the devil, you side with the demons, you want to be a demon, and you don't care about the loss of life, you don't care about how somebody else has to live their life, what they have to experience, what they have to go through day in, day out, not being able to sleep at night being so stressed and so upset that they, they, they get sick and lose weight and, and they uh, uh, are, are constantly on edge and agitated, don't even want to go outside, causing them to have PTSD, making this person uh, 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 afraid to leave the house because of what you're doing to them, because you keep uh, 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 keeping up with this sick game that you want to play, making people lose friends, making people lose family because they're tired of hearing about some 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 crazy story or something that, that they they can't believe that's happening to them to their family member they, they don't even know if it's real or not they think this person might be sick themselves but the only person sick was them and you don't have to worry about them anymore because they got their just desserts it's coming to them whether they like it or not it's going to be bittersweet and they still gonna have to enjoy it and digest it and take it all down 
They messed with the wrong one when they messed with you. They should have thought twice about that. They had a second chance. There was, there was something in the back of their mind that said, I wouldn't do that if I were you. And they ignored it all the way, every single time. They let it go and kept it going. They said, you know what? To hell with that. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to keep this going. I like this too much. I enjoy this too much. The feeling that I get from this is better than listening to that voice in the back of my head. So they wanted to be a they wanted to be a full fledged demon. Now they get to see what being a full fledged demon is going to get them. They carried out these actions, and now they have to pay the price. They should have left you alone when they had the chance. Should have been a good person. Should have rolled with God. Should have been on the right side of things. But no. They want to work for their dad. They want to work for their father. They want to uh, 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 they want to make their build their pattern according to the devil. They want to be on the wrong side of things. So since they want to be on the wrong side of things, they want to be demonic. They want to be evil. They oh they think it's cool to be evil, right? Bad to bad to the bone. Now they're gonna be nothing but some bones left. They want to get swallowed up. By their own actions, by their own deeds, by their own evil, by their own negativity. They're done for. There ain't no coming back from this. They made a huge mistake messing around with you. you. Got a kind heart, a loving spirit. You care about people. Even if they piss you off, you still care about them. You don't want nothing to happen to nobody. But their own actions are going to get them. Their own deeds are. Their evil deeds are upon them. Their evil, wicked actions are upon them. And it's no removing them this time. It's no taking them off this time. They can't, they can't take off these clothes this time. They put on, they, they put on the clothes of wickedness. They, they, yo, they put on an evil, wicked, uh, they put on an evil, wicked mentality. They put on an evil, wicked spirit. And now they gotta, they have to face the result of what they did. What they put out into the world, they have to face that. What they caused you to feel, they got to take that. They have to face that. They caused somebody to go through something very traumatic. They would not leave your mind alone to the point to where you said, you know what? It's not even worth, it's not even worth being here anymore if I have to keep going through this. And because of that, now they're going to have to go through that. Now, they're not going to have to be here. They want to bother people. They want to keep messing with people. They want to keep playing with people. Not caring what happens to them. Not caring how they feel about it. Well, guess what? Somebody's not going to care about how they feel. Somebody's not going to care about what they're going through. And they're not going to be able to go through it like you did. Because they're not as tough as you are. They're not as mentally tough as you are. And they're not as strong as you are. And they're not as mentally strong as you are. You made it through that. They won't. Everything that you went through, they're going to go through, but they're not going to make it out. They're not going to make it out. There's always somebody that's more evil and more wicked. You don't know what the universe can do. You don't know what God's capable of. You don't know what he's got up his sleeve. You don't know who he's going to put in place in your life. Well, now they got theirs coming to them. And they ain't getting out of this one. They're not going to make it out of this one. They're screwed. And they, uh, they, yeah, they owe it all to themselves. They screwed themselves. They chose their side. They chose what side they wanted to be on, who they wanted to work for, who they wanted to be associated with. They thought it'd be more fun to keep doing evil instead of doing good. And since they put evil before good, they put the devil before God. They put being an evil, wicked person before being a righteous person. And now they got to pay the price for that. And they're going to wish they didn't have to. Oh, they're going to wish they didn't have to. But it's all their fault. They did it to themselves. And now, 
they're not going to be able to make it out. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. I'll see you in the next video. It's been another Drew Tube special. I'll see you in the next one. We out.